DJ ATV. Meanwhile, 
The police in Oka, Anambra State, has debunked uh, the news making rounds in various um, social media outlets and newspaper publications that Sunday was a black Sunday in Oka to depict the fact that lives were lost in the attack by gunmen on the B Division police station. The police public relations officer, DSP Ikenga, said no lives were lost, that although a small part of their building was lost to the fire, but they were able to forestall the attack, drive away the gunmen, and rescue the remaining parts of their buildings. They said no officer on patrol lost his or her life as a result of the incident. In a statement, DSP Ikenga said, we recorded 95% success in the attack, and although we lost some part of our buildings, and the gunman was able to burn four vehicles in the INEC office. He also said that everyone should go about their normal activities as God is with them. He said that a special operation has been put together which entails um, the collaboration between the police, military, paramilitary and the DSS to restore peace to the state. He enjoined the residents of Anambra State to go about their normal activities stating that normalcy has resumed in the state and every other further attack by gunmen will be forestalled by the security operatives in their newly launched uh, operation to keep the, safe, uh, the state safe. The police public relations officer DSP Kinga also confirmed that they were able to seize three vehicles and some guns from the gunmen who attacked the, uh, the police station and the independent National Electoral Commission office in Oka. He said that the police is doing everything within its powers to find out the, the identity of the people behind the attack. Well, up until now, no one has claimed responsibility for the attack on the B Division police station in Oka and the offices of INEC in Anambra State, Imo State, and Enugu State, respectively. Meanwhile, in another development, protesters blocked the Abuja Kaduna Highway early hours of Monday morning, the 24th of May, 2021. The protesters said that their aim for blocking the highway is to ensure that every victim that has been kidnapped on the Guarica community in Niger State will return back safely to their homes. Speaking with some of our correspondents, residents of the community confirmed that since Governor Abubakar Bello announced that Boko Haram has hosted his flag in various parts of Niger State, the Guarica community has been experiencing a series of kidnaps. They said that these kidnappers now has now made it a normal routine to just walk into the houses of people, kidnap anyone they see in the house, and demand for ransom. Eyewitnesses reported that these gunmen when they came into the community two days ago, they kidnapped about 10 persons and dropped a note stating that they were coming back. And in the late hours of Sunday night, the 23rd of May, 2021, they actually returned to Guarica community, which is not so far away from the nation's capital, Abuja. And in the attack on Sunday night, they, they carried away more than 30 persons, including women and children. They said, that they were demanded by a ransom from the state government and the federal government before those that were in their custody would be released back to their communities. Residents of the Guarica community at early hours of the morning, Monday morning blocked the Abuja Kaduna Highway, stating that until their loved ones were released back to them by the kidnappers and that the government showed an effort in making sure that their loved ones were returned that they will not open the highway for anyone to pass. Although members of the community claimed that when the attacks were going on on Sunday night, they called on security operatives to come and uh, rescue them from the hands of these kidnappers. And the security operatives allegedly said that they did not have enough uh, weapons to combat the kidnappers. The protesters said when they stormed the highway early hours of Monday morning that uh, the military and other security operatives, which included the police, tried to drive them away from the site of the protest, but they were not going to have any of that. Uh, and the plan on not leaving the road until their loved ones were returned safely to them. Well, when the military saw that uh, the crowd was not going to disperse, they had to apply a little force to make sure that these persons cleared the road for commuters to be able to use the Abuja Kaduna Highway. So guys, there you have it. 
Uh, IDEC offices in Anambra, Imo, and Enugu State have been attacked, as well as police stations in the southeast, especially. Meanwhile, in the northern part of the country, kidnappers are having a fun day walking to the houses of people, picking as many as they can, and walking away with them with no security operatives in sight. Members of the Guarica community are demanding that military checkpoints should be stationed around the community, whilst uh, the military barrack base, which is close to the community, should be moved into the community to ensure the safety of, of the residents of the Guarica community. While to many people, it seems as though the security operatives are scared to use their weapons on kidnappers, but do not find anything wrong in using these same weapons on innocent citizens who are just demanding for their rights. So guys, what do you think about this issue? INEC has claimed that the attack on their office is a deliberate attempt to, you know, forestall the elections they're supposed to hold in Anambra State. Do you agree with them? Now they're calling for a national emergency in the Independent National Electoral Commission. Now they've, forced, uh, they've placed security operatives all over the INEC offices in the 36 states of the Federation, saying that they're going to discuss this issue with the government and stakeholders to see what solution they can come up with. Also, what do you think about protesters being chased away from the Abuja Kaduna Highway uh, with military weapons, which could not be used on kidnappers? Do you think that the military were right in doing that or they were wrong? Drop your comment in the comment section. This is where we come to the end of this edition of DJN TV Daily News Update. A very big thank you for staying with us till the end of this video. Do not forget to like and share this video and subscribe if you've not done so. Turn on the notification bell so you're one of the first persons to receive any update on this news we just brought to you. Until we come your way again with another edition of DJN TV Daily News Update, do not forget to like and follow us on all our social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Check out our website at www.djmtv.news. My name is Laurel Favor saying that the security of the nation is everybody's concern. So please, if you see something, say something. DJ TV. DJ TV. Full of people. No, they don't like us. Welcome to DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ and Some of the delegates are the asked their question. DJ and